Hey everybody, it's Colin here from Sills Argo in Trenton. I just thought I'd do a quick uh, video to show you the PDI on a new Argo Frontier 8x8. Now this model is a Frontier 650 8x8 and this is the PDI walkthrough. I've removed the firewall and front floor pan and rear floor pan for this video. Uh, the new models you that have uh, the flat floors and the new body style on a Frontier, you'll need um, you'll need a half inch wrench or socket and a 3 16 uh, Allen wrench to take out the floor pans. That doesn't come with the machine, so that's something that you should get when you so you can do your regular maintenance and check overs yourself. So we'll start under the hood on this machine. And I'll show you under the hood. So here's your engine oil. So that's how you check your engine oil. There's your dipstick there. There's your dipstick back here for the gearbox for the transmission. Your oil or your air filter rather right here, easy access. You can just undo these clips here, on both sides, and get at your air filter. Um, your oil filter on this engine is back here on the back of the engine, so there you go, you can see it there. Your drive belt that drives off the primary clutch of the engine back to the transmission onto the secondary clutch. So like a belt, like a snowmobile um, drive belt, kind of a similar thing. Here's your battery on the new Frontier. A new Aurora models is now under the hood. So battery is now under the hood, which gives you a little bit more storage room underneath the seat where the battery used to be. I'm gonna lift the seat. You'll see where the battery used to be. Here's the, where the battery used to sit. So now you have more storage under your seat. Parking brake. There's your parking brake now on the dash. Very nice. And with the floors and the firewall out, I can show you the inside of the machine. So this is an eight wheel Argo. So you've got eight grease fittings on the, on the axles. You've got, um, sorry, on the inside of the axles. So you've got a grease fitting. There's the front axle up there and you can see kind of in the video, but there is a grease fitting on that inner bearing. You've got a grease fitting on this inner bearing and so on and so on all the way through the machine. You've also got your idler shafts here. These idler shafts will have a grease fitting on each end of them. The idler shafts are what drives the axles off of the transmission. So your sprocket up on the output shaft of the transmission on this brake rotor, driving down to the idler shaft. So these are your idler chains. And you see we've got those nice and tight. One about, I think it says in the manual, one eighth of an inch of deflection. Chains are nice and oiled, which is what you want. You don't have to have oil dripping off them, but just make sure that they're they're oiled and People ask me all the time, how often do I oil my chains? And I say, when they look dry. It'll depend on the environment that you're running it in. If you get water in it, it'll wash the chains and you'll have to oil them more often. I don't really think you can over grease or over oil an Argo. Um, the more you grease them, the longer those bearings are gonna last. It's gonna save you thousands of dollars in repairs um, down the road. My own personal Argo's got about 500 hours on it now, and I'm still running on the original bearings. But I grease it about every other tank of fuel. So that's kind of a good way to, to judge how often do I grease my Argo. Well, if you run a tank of fuel through it, you run another tank of fuel through it, you're ready to grease it. Um, so that's a good guideline to go by. The bilge pump on these models is sitting right down, sort of uh, behind the firewall in front of the transmission or behind the transmission, however you want to think about it. Um, that's that orange thing right there. That's your bilge pump. So you want to just check the bottom of it, make sure you don't have any grass or debris or anything stuck in it that uh, might plug the bilge pump. And I'll show you the grease points on the outside of the vehicle. So again, this is an eight wheeler. So it's got four axles on this side, four on the other. Each axle has a grease fitting on the outside. And these holes here on the newer models in the rim that you see in this video right here, see these holes? These holes are access points to get your grease gun through the rim and access those outer bearings. 
So kind of nice. The older stuff we used to have to pull the wheels off and to grease the outer bearings. Now Argo puts these holes in. We line those holes up, just roll the machine ahead or back to line them up with the grease fitting and you can grease your outer bearings. <clears throat> On the back of the machine, you'll see drain plugs. These drain plugs are how you let the rainwater out of your Argo. So if you get caught in the rain or your vehicle happens to sit outside overnight and it pours rain, you come out in the morning and there's water in your Argo, this is how you're going to drain the water out. You're going to drain, open these drain plugs on each side, drive the vehicle up on something uh, so the front end's a little bit higher, the water will run to the back and out these drain holes right here. So don't use your bilge pump to pump rainwater out because as you can see, the bilge pump sits in the middle of the machine and underneath the chains, which it's a little bit lower, that's where the water will collect and you don't want your chains and bearings sitting in water. So it's a good idea to just keep an eye on that, drain the water out if you get water in it and your machine will last a lot longer. Up on the handlebar controls, we'll go back to the handlebars here. So you've got your headlights. This is a Frontier, so it only has low beam. It has one headlight. Um, this is your engine kill switch on and off. This is your key here, which you will turn on with the key on. You have to have the kill switch in the run position, pull in on the brake and hit the start button. And it'll start right up. Shut her off with either the key or the kill switch, whatever you'd like. Your throttle, this is your throttle right here. So this is the old Argos had a twist grip throttle. Now you've got the finger throttle, which has been going over really well. People really like that. Um, this machine we've outfitted with a winch and a brush guard for the customer and an outboard motor bracket. So I think that's it. I think I've gone over just about everything uh, that uh, I would go through on a PDI. Visit us at uh, silsargo.ca. That's Silsargo in Trenton, Ontario. Thanks.